Well, if you're a little squeamish, yes, and I am, creature crawlies, and I'm talking about the big hairy ones, that'd be rats. And that's what we're talking about now with Elite Pest Control. Be prepared for your skin to crawl because that's exactly what mine did when I saw some of the images. Hello, Gary and Dawn. We're talking rats today, rodents. Gary. Yes, rodents seem to be around all year, but they definitely are you know, more of a problem in the winter because they come inside because it's cold outside. And so they, and amazing, they climb the tree most of the times beside your house and jump on the roof and through the guttering they find a way inside your house. Oh. So most of the time you don't see them, they're in the roof, mm. but occasionally you do get them where they might, a cat might bring one in or it might come in through an open window or door. And you can hear them, can't you? Yes. Dawn, I mean, they do make an almighty. I mean, the, in fact, we've got some amazing images <laughs> of Gary um, and his rat friends, and they were, oh, wow, yeah. That yeah. is a substantial beast there. Yeah, that's a Norway rat, or commonly called a river rat. That, they're the bigger ones, and uh, they're very, very common in, in Christchurch. And you find those around the rivers. That's a, a typical burrow from a, a Norway rat. Why they Norway? Just a bit of trivia. Why are they call uh, Norway? I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it could be something to do with the boats, maybe. Oh, yeah. Right, true. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. The Latin name is Rattus Norvegicus. Yeah, so. Still dirty old rat. <laughs> thinking. And what, what have we got here? The rat is. Well, this, this is a typical situation for a rat get, finding its home inside a warm place. This is a spa pool, the innards of a spa pool, Ooh. and they'll, so you'll find them in those sort of places where it's warm, and it's uh, living in there, and we had to set up traps for it. To get it out, and then that's the result. <laughs> yeah. Look at that tail. That yeah. is so gross. <laughs> that is incredible. And look at it there. Yeah, this is an interesting one. This this is one of the ones where a rat gets inside a house, and the lady opened the door and saw a rat in the room, and then just <gasps> closed the door and called us. Ah, uh, yeah. And then we went together to this place, and we couldn't find this rat. And we're just picking up stuff, you know, because you know, <gasps> even though we do it for a job, you still get a bit of a fright when you see one. Yeah. So just pick up something and pick up this. And we go around the whole room, we empty the whole place out, we just couldn't find this rat. And we look behind the TV, and here it was just holding on, holding on to the wires as you saw in that picture there, you know. So it's amazing. And then when we, animated animal. You can't it? grab it because you just couldn't get it. And um, so it, it jumped down and it ran around and, oh my goodness. and it just jumped off the couch and went straight past. My face, uh, yeah. But we've got <laughs> it in so the end. <laughs> foul. Yeah. I'm sorry, there's no other word to describe it, and that's why. Why would you even think about trying to get a rat yourself, really? Well, yeah, well, we, we, we feel you? a bit of trepidation about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what happens, like, heaven forbid, heaven forbid, you have a rat in your house? Um, what do we do? Do we call you immediately? But can you come out? I mean, what should we do in the meantime before you actually get there? Because, you know, you can't jump in your TARDIS and arrive there immediately, so... Well, often they just give us a call and we make a time to come and see them. They close off the room mm -hmm. and just leave it okay. and wait for us to come. Oftentimes there is an exit point for the rat to leave. So we'll look and often they're not there, but uh, they can often be uh, nesting in under the dishwasher or in the fridge or behind cupboards in the mm. little spaces underneath the kitchen cupboards under the sink as well. Oh my goodness, that's gross. I think everyone going home tonight in their cupboards and they're going to be really gingerly looking there. <laughs> um, Gary, you know, you do take away the ugly factor from it though, don't you, for us, and make it easy, the whole process? Yes, we do, yes. Yes, we, we, we certainly take care of it. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. It's as simple as actually just giving yeah. you a call at Elite Pest Control and then you just take literally control of the situation mm -hmm. and give our home back to us with our little friends. Yeah, exactly. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. My goodness, Elite Pest Control. It's as simple as that. If you do find one of these little people, or little creatures, sorry, in your house, then give them a call. They're at 27 Cashmere Road in Christchurch, phone 03332 or go to their website, elitepestcontrol.co.nz.